I wasn't very happy in myself. I didn't like having a disability at all. I was just like, oh, I'm going to be in a wheelchair my whole life. WCMX just changed my life completely. When I'm at a skate park, I don't feel different to anyone else. I feel like I'm just part of the whole community. People with disabilities can be just as able or more able than other people. I'm Lily Rice, I'm 15 years old, and this is my story. Yeah, so WCMX stands for Wheelchair Motocross, and it's basically riding a wheelchair at a skate park. I came across it online and I thought it was really cool. I found this guy called Aaron Fotheringham, who's like the world champion now, five times world champion, I think. And he's absolutely crazy. He put a joke kind of post online saying like, chair for sale, so-and-so a month of mileage. And my mum commented on Facebook and was like, there's a young girl in Wales who would really appreciate this. I have a condition called HSP, which is short for hereditary spastic paraplegia. There's loads of different types of it, but my type affects my body from the waist down. WCMX has changed my life completely. Before I started riding, I was pretty down and didn't really like my disability and I was very shy. Now I'm like completely opposite. I'm really confident. I think when I first started, everyone's kind of like, whoa, why is there a wheelchair here? Oh, that was the best I've ever done. <laughs> but now people are starting to see it more and they're a lot more positive about it. It was a bit scary at first, definitely. I just started off on the small ramps and worked my way up along to the bigger ones. I, I just, like, just got good at some point. I don't really know how it happened. I landed a backflip back in September 2017. I was the second girl in the world and the first in Europe. It was one of the craziest tricks I've ever done and it was absolutely amazing to land a trick like that. Whoa, sit in it, big drop! Yeah, we thought it would be nice after she'd uh, completed one year of riding um, to go to California. None of us had ever been there before so it was quite a daunting trip for all of us to make but we wanted Lily to ride with other people riding WCMX because there wasn't any in this country. She did amazing in that first competition. She placed actually second in the world. It was extremely emotional. Um, yeah, well, I end up thinking about it now, as daft as it sounds, but yeah, it was, it, it was part of the evolution of, of somebody who's, um, you know, wasn't confident in his, and, and that was kind of like the springboard for her. Um, uh, uh, crazy. We probably live in the, one of the worst locations for skateboarding. You know, the van has been really uh, good. You know, we kind of managed to keep the costs down by staying in the van uh, overnight. I said to Lily, you know, like, I'll support you 100% on this. If you want to do this, I'll support you 100%. Yeah, I've got a pretty good relationship with my dad. He drives me a lot of places and I'm really, like, grateful for that. It's a bit of a trek up here. It's about two hours away from where I live in my school, so I could probably be home about midnight. Without my dad, I definitely wouldn't be riding at the level I am now, and definitely wouldn't be here riding here. I'd probably just be in my back garden trying some tricks. I knew I had it in me to get the first place, so I was really stoked when it happened. I've been riding two and a half years, so it's quite a good achievement as well. And I literally was just buzzing for like three, four, five days. She's done more than I've ever done in my life and she's 15, that just sucks.
I think disabled's a pretty negative word to be honest. Like disabled, it's kind of like you're not able to do things. I want to show the world that a disability doesn't mean that you can be held back. Nice! Today we're in a Jen and Ali Corby, which is in Northamptonshire. We've met up with some of the kids and we're having a bit of fun riding around. I'm really passionate about this sport. That was so fast! I'm really excited to see it grow more and it's great just to have other people here from coaching them and riding with them now. He's nine years old and he rides WCMX and he, he loves it. Before we weren't really going out a lot, he didn't have no friends in wheelchairs or anyone we could like hang out with and, and then meeting Lily and, and Mark doing this with his chair, it, it's just a massive impact on his life and our lives. You can just do it like this. Lily's kind of funny because she always makes me laugh because she's doing backflips now. She's doing backflips and she's doing one wheels and stuff and that. I want to be like Aaron Wheels and Lily Rice. We're just at a normal skate park and just because we're differently abled doesn't mean that we can't interact with everyone else that's riding. Yeah, definitely, definitely able sounds a lot better than disabled, like whether you're definitely able is more like you just have to do it differently. Nice. I think WCMX would be a great sport for the Paralympics because it's really exciting and fun. Skateboarding and BMX is also going into the Olympics. So I think having a para equivalent to that would be really cool. I realised that like people are always going to see my disability first and that's something that you're just going to have to accept so you may as well be bold and show it off if you know what I mean. Like I thought what's the point in trying to hide it. It could have gone the other way. Imagine if you hadn't found the sport and all of a sudden everything in life would have been negative about disability, wouldn't it? It would have been like, can't do that, got disabled, you know, can't do this, can't do that. But the world isn't such a bad place, and like if we were to constantly focus on negatives in life, you know, what, what, what would we be? Let's focus on the positives. I'd definitely say WCMX was more of my life than a hobby. In the future, or even soon, I'd like to go pro because I don't want to get a normal job. I'd say before I started riding, I was like here, and now have started riding, I'm almost at the very top of happiness. <laughs>